गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू ऑफ लिक्विड फ्यूल्स एंड गैसेस फ्यूल्स बाय यूजिंग बॉयज गैस कैलोरीमीटर वी नो दैट इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी द कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू कैलोरिफिक वैल्यू मीन्स वॉट total quantity of heat liberated by complete combustion of unit mass or unit volume of the fuel in presence of air and oxygen is called as calorific value the calorific value for solid fuel and non volatile liquid fuel it can be determined by using bomb calorimeter and the calorific value of highly volatile liquid fuel and gaseous fuel it can be determined with the help of boys gas calorimeter in today's session we are going to study the boys gas calorimeter now what is the principle of the boys gas calorimeter say this is the schematic diagrammatic representation of boys gas calorimeter the principle of this method is this boys gas calorimeter method is useful to determine calorific value of the highly volatile liquid fuel and gaseous fuel the principle of this method is a known volume of gas is burned at known and constant rate right and then liberated amount of heat is absorbed by circulating water and the rising temperature is recorded on that principle boys gas calorimeter will be work right i will again repeat the principle a known volume of the gases fuel is burned at known and constant rate the liberated amount of heat is absorbed by circulating water the rise in temperature is recorded and see this is the simple schematic diagrammatic representation of boys gas calorimeter right here is the two different thermometer is given t1 thermometer it is called as the inlet thermometer to record the temperature of inlet water this is the second one is t2 thermometer right so it can record the temperature of outlet water here is what water inlet from the top of the assembly water will be moves at the down right then then it is what this is called as the combustion chamber at the bottom there is a gas burner is there right then again two different copper tubing coil is there see this is the inner copper tubing coil right this is the outer copper coil and at the bottom uh, top there is what again rubber tubing is there and which is uh, collected in what separate beaker okay and here is what another um, beaker is kept at the bottom of the assembly this is for collecting the condensed steam okay then at the assembly there is a three holes is present this is for what exhausted gas right this is for what collecting the steam and this is for what water inlet right so this is the simple schematic diagrammatic representation of boys gas calorimeter so let's start the construction of boys gas calorimeter boys gas calorimeter consists of the four different part which one the first one is gas burner second one is the combustion chamber third one is thermometer and fourth one is insulating cover these are the four different parts is present in boys gas calorimeter now let's see the gas burner see at the bottom of the assembly there is a gas burner is kept at the bottom of the assembly in which a known quantity of gas is continuously passed at known and constant rate near about what 3 to 4 liter liter per minute gases can be passed right a gas burner at the bottom of the assembly a gas burner is kept in which a known quantity of gas is continuously passed through what a known and constant rate near about 3 to 4 liter per minute 
gases can be passed. Okay. Then second part is what your combustion chamber. Your whole assembly is covered with what combustion chamber. In combustion chamber, two different copper tubing coil is present. Inner copper tubing coil and outer copper tubing coil. See, this is the inner copper tubing coil. This is the outer copper tubing coil. Water will be entered from the top of the assembly, which is moves down at the bottom with the help of outer tubing coil, right? And which is exit from the top of the assembly with the help of what? Inner copper tubing coil. So this is the role of what you are combustion chamber. Then thermometer. In voice gas calorimeter, two different type of thermometer is used. Which one? T1 thermometer and T2 thermometer. What is the role of T1 thermometer? See, here is what you are T1 thermometer. T1 thermometer can record the temperature of inlet water, right? Then second one is T2 thermometer. What is the role of T2 thermometer? T2 thermometer can record the temperature of what? Outlet water. So this is two different thermometer is present. And last is what you are insulating cover. Your whole assembly is covered with what? Insulating material in order to detach from what you are combustion chamber, right? In insulating cover, there are three holes are exist. Which one? First one is exhausted gas. Whatever the gases is present into the combustion chamber, that gases will be passed through the exhausted chamber. Second one is condensed steam. In order to collect the steam, we have to require again second hole for condensed steam. And third hole is required for what? Water inlet. So this is the simple construction part of what you are boys gas calorimeter. Now the working of boys gas calorimeter is very simple. Start the burning of the gas at suitable pressure and adjust the rate of water flow such that the temperature of outgoing water remain constant. Right? See, working is very simple. Start the burning of the gases fuel at suitable pressure and adjust the rate of water flow such that the temperature of outgoing water remain constant and the following observations were recorded which are the observations recorded into the boys gas calorimeter the first observation is volume of gases fuel burn at standard temperature and pressure condition t at v meter cube so volume of gases of fuel burn is v meter cube then second observation is what Weight of cooling water circulated in calorimeter, which is in kilogram. Then temperature of inlet water, T1 degree Celsius. Temperature of outlet water, that is T2 degree Celsius. And rise in temperature, means what? T2 minus T1 degree Celsius. This is called as what? Rise in temperature. Again, the weight of water collected by steam condensation, which is denoted by what? Small m which is also in what kilogram right which are the observations we are going to record after the experiment of the boys gas calorimeter see there are four to five observations we are going to record which one first one is volume of gases fuel burn which is in what v meter cube right then weight of water cooling water circulated in calorimeter which is also in capital kilogram w capital w kilogram then temperature of inlet water T1 degree Celsius, temperature of outlet water T2 degree Celsius, rising temperature is T2 minus T1 degree Celsius and the weight of steam collected after condensation that is in what M which is also in kilogram. So these are the observations we are how to record in boys gas calorimeter. Now the calculation is very simple. The calculation from the boys gas calorimeter we can calculate what the gcv gross calorific value and ncv net calorific value of what your highly volatile liquid fuel and gases fuel so therefore heat released by combustion of volume of gases fuel which is equal to what heat absorbed by the water right so GCV into volume of gases fuel burn which is equal to 
कैपिटल डब्ल्यू इन टू टी टू माइनस टी वन कैपिटल डब्ल्यू इज वॉट वेट ऑफ वॉटर सर्क्युलेटेड इन कैलोमीटर टी टू माइनस टी वन इज राइज इन टेम्परेचर सो फॉर्मुला टू कैलक्युलेट द जी सी वी दिस इज इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर द गैस इज फ्यूअल जी सी वी इक्वल टू वॉट कैपिटल डब्ल्यू इन टू टी टू माइनस टी वन डिवाइडेड बाय वी द यूनिट इज किलो कैलरीज पर मीटर क्यूब डब्ल्यू इज वेट ऑफ वॉटर सर्क्युलेटेड इन कैलोमीटर T2 minus T1 is rise in temperature. V is volume of gases fuel burned. Right? This is called as what your formula to calculate the GCV. Right? Then another one is what latent heat of steam. Latent heat of steam, which is equal to what small m into 587 divided by V. What is the m? M is called as what weight of water collected due to what steam condensation which is also in what kilogram right this is the latent heat of water vapors in kilo cal kilo calories per meter cube and this v is volume of gases fuel burn so this is called as what latent heat of water vapors so if you know the gcv right from the gcv we can easily calculate the ncv what is the ncv ncv is called as net calorific value right so net calorific value which is equal to what gcv so this is the formula of gcv c capital w into t2 minus t1 divided by v so gcv minus latent heat of water vapor steam which one this is m into 587 divided by v unit is kilo calories per meter cube so in short we can write down this formula is like this ncv equal to gcv minus m into 587 divided by v unit is kilo calories per meter cube so this gcv is nothing but what this is the value and m is what latent heat of water vapors steam so by using this formula we can easily calculate the ncv as well as the gcv i will again summarize the previous point See, boys gas calorimeter. This calorimeter is useful for determination of calorific value of what highly volatile liquid fuel and gases fuel. What is the principle? A known volume of gases fuel is burned at known and constant rate. The liberated amount of heat is absorbed by circulating water, and their rise in temperature is recorded. Construction part. it consist of the four different parts gas burner which is at the bottom of the assembly combustion chamber it containing inner and copper inner and outer copper tubing coil thermometer two type of thermometer inlet thermometer and outlet thermometer insulating cover it also containing three hole exhaust gas collecting steam and water inlet and these are the observations we have to record first is what volume of gases fuel burn which is in what v meter cube right weight of water circulated in calorimeter capital w temperature of inlet water t1 degree celsius temperature of outlet water t2 degree celsius rise in temperature t2 minus t1 degree celsius and this is the weight of water produced from steam condensation which is what small m kilogram and from that observation we are easy to calculate the gcv and ncv gcv means gross calorific value ncv means what net calorific value so gcv equal to what capital w into t2 minus t1 divided by v unit is kilo calories per meter cube so what is w w is called as what weight of water circulated in calorimeter t2 minus t1 is rise in temperature and v is volume of gases fuel burn and if you know the gcv from this we are easy to calculate the ncv so formula of ncv is what gcv minus m into 587 divided by v unit is kilo calories per meter cube right so i hope that you understood the concept of uh, determination of calorific value of highly volatile liquid fuel and gases fuel that is boys gas calorimeter their principle construction working observation and calculation of boys gas calorimeter right 
if you have any doubt you may post your queries or doubt in google classroom right 